The dance performance being staged at Bard College's Richard B. Fisher Center for the Performing Arts won't be presented on the stage inside. Instead, the performers will be dancing on the building itself. The thing that's so beautiful about this project is that you're kind of open in space and you've got certain moments where you're just kind of soaring. It's a very liberating feeling and using the roof to jump off into space and that's kind of liberating too, especially with this beautiful landscape in front of you. It's just very freeing. The piece, called Rapture, was choreographed specifically for the Frank Gehry Design Building by Noemi LaFrance. And then one with the accent on four. Last year, she was invited by the school in Annandale and Hudson, New York, to create a piece that would integrate the center into one of her works. When they suggested this project to me, I said, well, you know, they, they said, we want you to do something with the architecture. And I said, well, if you want me to do something with the architecture, you're going to have to consider that I'm going to want to dance on the building, you know, just go all over it. And so, you know, because I'm not going to do something in the lobby or anything. Known for her site-specific performances in places like parking garages and swimming pools, Ms. LaFrance hopes to present a series of dance pieces on Gary buildings around the world. I really feel like the buildings of Frank Gary are moving and they have a certain sensuality to them. And I want to just take that and make a dynamic physical expression of the curves of the building and how they float together and how they roll on top of each other. One of Miss LaFrance's most widely seen pieces of choreography went into this Grammy-nominated music video for the singer Feist. One, two, three, During Ms. LaFrance's visit to the West Coast earlier this year for the Grammy Awards, she approached Frank Gehry about her idea for a world tour. Mr. Gehry couldn't give her permission to perform. He doesn't own the major buildings he designed. But he was taken with the idea and wrote her a letter of recommendation. The one thing that he did say was, you know, it's really right on in that I really was thinking of dance when I made those buildings, and I'm thinking of movement in my work all the time. By the end of the meeting, he was showing me all these maquettes, and you can dance on this one, and you can dance on this one. This one's not built yet, but it's coming. As soon as this one is ready, <laughs> you should dance on this one. But despite her experience working in unusual locations, Ms. LaFrance says Mr. Gary's design is posing some unusual challenges for her and her performers. To scale the walls and rooftops of the Fisher Center, Dancers in harnesses strap into a system of ropes and pulleys, all overseen by a crew of rigging experts. It's a very challenging building to work on because it's curvilinear, it's got strange shapes to it. The edges are unfinished flashing. The edges are razor sharp. Ms. LaFrance says she wants her dancers to use Gary's surfaces to embody a state of transformation. But Rapture also carries a comment about the scale of the art form she's working with. All the Gary buildings are sort of an event in their own. And I think it's interesting to go counter that and also go with that. The whole idea of dance and architecture are in such different places in the world. I think it's interesting to put them together and sort of have the body defeat the buildings, you know, and like vice versa and work together. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm John Jurgensen.